welcome back to Nikki's Scrapbooking Adventures. Today, my goal is to try to embellish every layout. That's my goal. I don't think it's going to happen, but we'll see. I've got January done already. That's awesome. I think what I'll start with is actually creating mats and then getting my journaling down for each of these pages. So if you remember last time, what I did is I stuck the embellishments inside the month that they're associated with. And I got all the base pages done for this year. For this next year, I should say. So I'm going to come back and I will update you with some of the progress that I've made. I have a feeling this is going to take me quite some time. So I'm not going to make you sit here and watch me. Uh, I may even just do a flip through when I'm done. So, just look out for that, and I'll be right back. Hello, guess what? I finished it. I'm really excited. Um, it took me quite a while, <laughs> about eight hours to finish everything. However, every month is embellished based on the sketch that I had created. So, I'm going to review what I've completed. So here's my thing, my title sheet, the year with my Nomies, and these are the three sticker sheets that I used. Okay, lots of fun, lots of fun embellishments left, and what I'll end up doing is I'm going to play, remove all of the stickers and then add them to a piece of cardstock with wax paper on it. So it's like release paper, just like this. And then I'm going to place them inside my themed kits that I already have. I already have something for snow. I've already got a Valentine's collection. I don't have anything with Irish, so I'm not sure what I'll do with this. I'll probably just end up putting it in my themed binder. I've got an Easter collection going, I've got a mom collection, I've got a dad collection, I've got 4th of July, we've got school, Halloween, Thanksgiving, and then Christmas. So really, I have every type of themed collection already made in my stash, except for Irish, because we don't really s celebrate that, because March is really birthdays in my family. So I'll show you how I decided to tackle this specific month. Okay, so here is the front of my album. I have not completed my front. What I'll do is I'll put my leftover papers aside to create this. And here's January. And we did this one together already. So based on my sketch, I've got a cluster here with a title, I've got a cluster here, and a cluster here. So we did this one together already, but I completed every month after. I did a lot of fussy cutting, so I took all of those papers and I cut them down. These are my leftovers, and I cut a lot of things out. Lots and lots of things out. Okay. So these are my leftovers. I will probably place these on the wax paper with my stickers and place them in albums. I'm going to keep this separate because I plan on using these leftovers, the two inches, for my title pages. So my first page and my last page. So there's February. I popped up these guys on foam. I used my glossy, not my glossy accents, my diamond glaze to give the hearts a little dimension. So there's February. And then March, again, really heavily themed on St. Patrick's Day. But when I pull out my photos, what's going to end up happening is that a lot of that's going to be covered. So I focused on things with luck because I am lucky to have my boys and their birthdays are in March. Okay, 
I did leave this to tuck my photos in underneath. So it will cut off something here. So when I'm printing my photos, I do have to be cognizant of that. Okay. There's March and then April. I love this page. I think it's super cute. This guy with this egg is so fun. And then I used some little jelly beans here and put some diamond glaze on it to make it look a little bit more 3D. And again, I made sure to not put any adhesive on here. And these stickers from my sticker sheet, I used my anti-static pouch to remove the sticky so that I can tuck my photo in there. You're a funny bunny. I think that's so cute. And then May is Mother's Day. This one was a little bit harder to do because it's about me, essentially. And May is my birthday month. So I had to get this little guy. This guy is actually from, I fussy cut him out of the February part. Again, I left room here and here to tuck my photos. Here's June. You're a cool dad. Number one dad. I wish I'd pop this guy up on foam, but I'd already glued it before I had even thought about it. My dad is my hero, and then I pop this little guy up on foam. I fussy cut him. Fussy cut a lot of stuff to get this to work. And I made a little scene here for July. We grill out a lot in the summer. And this was the journaling block. So I felt like I had to bring in the watermelons into here. So I've got kind of a diagonal approach with July. That's from the cut apart sheets. So at the bottom of each cut apart sheet, they had the holiday that you're celebrating and then the month. So on a couple of these pages, instead of using the sticker sheet that had July written on it, I used here to create a flag. There's August. Again, a little scene over here with his little belly sticking out. I thought that was so funny. And this kind of bugs me, but this is the only options for the journaling card and then for the sticker sheet. So... I just did that. And summer is better in flip-flops. I thought that was fun. And then I used, a, I cut apart one of those sheets to create this summer. That's on foam. Okay, here's September. So my baby is too small to go to school. So instead of focusing on the school aspect of September... I chose to focus on the reading aspect of this September. And when I place these on here, again, you're not going to see the pattern in the background. You're really going to see the embellishments that I had made. So, for example, that cut apart sheet had a cute little thing for school. However, my baby doesn't go to school. So I chose to leave this out. Again, back to school. Chose to leave it out. Really focused in on the reading portion. Okay. Next is Halloween. I got a little scene going here. Tucked my photo. Got some no adhesive there so I could tuck this. I chose to leave this page pretty simple because one, what was left over wasn't going to fit on my page, especially with this cut apart. And two, over here, so busy, so I might as well just leave it alone. Okay. Here's November. Chose to really focus in on that fall aspect. Kept the gnomes around here so that when I place these down, you can see those little gnomes with his cute little hat. I think this is so fun. And then my last month is December. Okay. 
I cut out these little trees from a cut apart and popped them up on foam. And I really wanted these two tags, but I had I really wanted this as well. So I chose to put this here with a little car, put December on my tag. I don't really like the pattern on the background, so I was fine with covering it up. And this is the only 4x3 card that doesn't have lines for journaling, which I thought was really funny. All the other months have lines for journaling. So, that's alright. I popped these up on foam, popped that up on foam. I left this flat on this side. So, and then my end page is not done yet. So, that is my 2022 completely embellished album. What I'm going to do from here is I will put this in a black postbound album that I'll pick up here eventually, probably during the sales, and I will place them inside so they keep nice. I already had some issues with this layout where I guess this hadn't dried completely and was on top of my February, so it took a little bit of the paint off. So you can see a little bit of the paper there, which is a bummer, but I'm going to leave it. And these have foam dimensions, so it is going to be hard to keep them nice outside of the album. So that's going to be a very important key. I hope you enjoyed this series. I will come back throughout 2022 to show you how I'm placing these together, doing my journaling, adding my photos. I used a lot of these embellishments to create my pages. As you saw, you could see this guy in March. She, I fussy cut him out for April. All those fun things. So I really hope you enjoyed. Give me a fun thumbs up. Um, I've got a couple other videos coming in December, and I plan on going throughout 2022. That is my goal. Remember to like and subscribe. Have a wonderful day.